Oh. So lads, a couple days ago, I asked you to send me your sim racing setups on my Discord. What the fun boy? What a terrible mistake that was. You understand me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Some of these setups were actually pretty good. Some of them, not so much. Enjoy. And we are starting off with somebody who really likes purple. So first thing, the steering wheel. N, never heard of that brand, but not gonna lie, that is one top tier shifter right there. He looks so cute, what the hell? Also got a controller there, seems to be a pretty standard keyboard, nothing too crazy. Very clean, very tidy, for some reason he has a carpet on his table. 6 out of 10. Guys, I asked you for setups. Next up, we have what looks to be a Thrustmaster wheel. The amount of junk you have on your desk, it is actually concerning. Is that a shirt? 4 out of 10. Ah, look at that, ETS. So the man is rocking a G27, very good. That was actually my dream steering wheel when I was 11. And in my humble opinion, it is the best wheel Logitech has ever shit out. And yeah, ignoring the 4x3 monitor and the ass cable management, I think this is actually pretty good. Feeling a 5 out of 10 on this one. Okay, so, got the gamer chair. Mm-hmm, very good, very With good. I just noticed the fish. What? Fancy this is actually pedals. a pretty nice setup, though. Fancy wheel. And of course, as any simulator must, a, a classic game. I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless. 8 out of 10. And now with the world's largest intake fan, bro has the first 4090 SLI setup. Another G27, very good. Your cables are kind of a mess. I'm wondering, what is that thing? Attached to the wheel. I don't know, it looks like a walkie-talkie or something. 6 out of 10. G29. But that monitor, man is it bright. <laughs> He's got the fan, extra points there. You know what? 6.2 out of 10. Ain't no way you're playing Beaming G from a MacBook. Oh no. I bet it runs amazing. As you can see, he's running max graphics and he hasn't even activated Windows. Guys, do you know you can buy licenses? for like $8. So yeah, for that, three out of 10. Why is the shifter so far away though? It's like a solid 50 centimeters. <laughs> Basically, you're like... <laughs> My man even plays Among Us. <laughs> What's with the lotion? No, let's not do that. Five out of 10. Best condition laptop on Facebook Marketplace? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> One out of ten. Bro's got that light up microphone, very nice. That is a Thrustmaster wheel. I think it's actually half decent. The thing that's bothering me though is it's mounted on top of your mouse mat. That thing is gonna leave a dent for sure. Yeah, he's got the tiny cars. Six out of ten. Okay, so this is interesting. Real dashboard. Look at that. Wow. Oh, wait, there's also another one. What? My question is how do you even get these? And once you have them, how do you get the knowledge to like wire them up? Don't see no steering wheel anywhere, but you know what? Just because I could never do this, 7 out of 10, this is actually pretty sick. Also, lads, you know what time it is? Since I don't take sponsorships because I don't want to scam you with the latest NFTs and crypto coins, I need to have the spot for channel members. These amazing people right here give me their hard-earned cash every month in return of pictures when I remember. Oh, and they also saw this video one hour before everyone else. So if you think that's worth two bucks, even five bucks a month, you know what to do. Thank you channel members, big love and what am I even looking at? My bros in that Cadillac. Wait, why do you have jumper wires hooked up to your laptop? Also got off the fact that he's using a barrel of Probably highly flammable liquid, as is mouse surface. Very good, very good. 6 out of 10, because it's a real car. And now with the world's most comfortable sim rig. He is really close to that massive TV, though. I think it is pretty immersive, not gonna lie. Anything, that chair, man. 2 out of 10, because you'll get scoliosis. Another Thrustmaster boy. Question, are you using that joystick thing as a handbrake or something? I've seen people actually do that. Don't know if it's any good. Uh, 4 out of 10. Okay, this one is interesting. That is a real car seat. People actually do this. I'm not gonna lie, it makes sense. I think this is a seat from a BMW. Pretty comfortable, if you pay the monthly subscription. The whole thing is kinda ruined by the Logitech wheel, but... 
it is good enough for most people, so... 7 out of 10. What? The f- I can't believe you actually drew those cards. That's actually incredible. Those are really good. G29, little hipster plant, goofy art chair. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. And that cable management is a W. Very well done there. 10 out of 10. Now this one, the more you look at it, the worse it gets. First thing that catches my eye is that greasy ass monitor. The thing is when you hook up your headphones, all the oils your headphones absorb, they all just get released on your monitor, which is not ideal. But then after the first glance, you notice the rock, the creepy fur thing, the frog, can't go wrong with a frog. But then you may think, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Kind of goofy. Doesn't end there. Because my man has the two kilogram packet of Arachides. Four out of ten. G27. I think that seat is from a car. And yeah, apart from the casket, I think it's a pretty solid setup. Pretty ergonomic. You got that formula car driving position. I think this is a solid eight out of ten, actually. Oi, them feet! So oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so, this is my gaming center. Okay. You got a big knee in the back. He's a good man. <laughs> what? Thin is the Discord moderator over there. <laughs> Ford American F 150 power. <laughs> Ford F 150. Look at all these ports. Already said that, man. Such a wide selection and variation. Oh. Why am I scared? What was that Shoot. moan? <laughs> oh! Yep, very funny. 2 out of 10. Man has finished eating. I love how you had to open the drawer to mount the shifter, which is also half a meter away from the wheel. How is that comfortable? Better than that, not bad, not bad. 5 out of 10. That laptop is erect. Very clean setup though. Thrustmaster wheel, tablet for the dashboard and everything else. The only thing is, like, this is a small desk. Why do you have an absolute unit of a keyboard? That keyboard is wider than my mom. Other than that, I love how clean it is, so... 6.9 out of 10. So this man spent his entire life savings on a Thrustmaster T300. And if we zoom out... Gotta love the art on the wall. Everyone can race. This man is all about inclusion, love that. Please wash that chair though. I think you had a couple oopsies there. With that T300, I think he is having a lot more fun than all the other Logitech people out there. So you know what? Fire out 10, clean it. Bro had a mental breakdown right before taking this picture. I think that's a G920 large screen, other than the absolute mess you have on the floor. Wait, he also has a VR headset. That is something I do not have. You know what? If you clean it up, 6 out of 10. But since it isn't clean, 3. Here is Thrust Pass at T150, right? Right. It's very nice. I've been using it for the past year. Mm hmm. Here. Very nice, you've been using it for one year, so you just yeet it. Here we got the... the shifter. That is a very good shifter, actually. I think it's the John Cena special. I'm feeling a 6 out of 10. Bro has a 3D printer and a lot of plastic debris. But ignoring that side, on the left, it's actually pretty nice. He's got the safety blanket on his seat in case he shits himself. 6 out of 10. My man really does love Corsair. Too bad you can't see it because it's full of desktop shortcuts. Do you need them? Just, just make a folder. Apart from that, G920 with a play seat rig. Feeling a strong 6 on this one. Baller setup. And I think he actually races in real life. I, I can see three helmets over there, some trophies, and the world's widest monitor. <laughs> Rocking the Fanatec Club Sport wheel. Fancy pedals, nice seat, 9 out of 10. This guy has the fancy Thrustmaster wheel. Oh wait, I also have one of those. A slave! Yeah, slave is looking pretty fresh. I see you have him testing out the rig with the VR headset. He also has a pretty sick surround sound system. Speakers at the back, cat, and speakers at the front. Like this one, 8.7 out of 10. Another laptop gamer with 30 minute battery life. The drawer is open for the shifter and the wheel, which is also mounted on your mouse mat. Losing points quick, man. Absolutely massive Ferrari Lego Technicar. That one I do like, though I do not see the reason for it to occupy your entire desk. Four out of 10. I bet you sit on that shifter. Wait, is that a shifter? 
Where's the handbrake? Because I, I, there's a H pattern there, and there's another knob there, and then you have a third one? I'm confused. Apart from that, thrust master wheel, very sharp pedals. If you're not wearing shoes, you will get cut. And right over there, a VR headset. I like this one. 7 out of 10. Now it is time for Carmite's setup. Let's pretend we didn't see anything. Actually, fuck it. This is what mental illness looks like. <laughs> what? You understand? What? <laughs> We gotta watch that back. Mental. So he has two cans open of an unidentified substance. Then we have fanatic wheel, fanatic pedals, some unknown handbrake, thrust master shifter, and lunch. You understand me? I do, mighty. Now this one, you know why this is special to me? That was my first ever wheel. That is actually pretty solid wheel. The only problem is it's louder than your mom. I think he's using the integrated shifter as a handbrake, and then he has dedicated H pattern mounted again half a meter from the wheel. Other than that, looks like he has vertically mounted pedals and my first ever microphone, the Blue Snowball. For nostalgia, I'm gonna give it a 2 out of 10. Pretty nice setup over here, the only thing is, your arms must be 2 meters long to reach that wheel. And to top it all off, the plant. 7 out of 10.